We've got our first look at this new Night Rogue armor set, and when you actually activate the Dive of the Valkyries ability, you produce Dracula wings that spawn from your back and give off this very cool looking animation and shockwave effect which is generated as you hit the ground. Incidentally, this Night Rogue armor set follows the trend of recent Helix armor sets where there's two cosmetic options and armor set bonuses available to you if you do purchase it. We've got the Ashen armor set and the Crimson armor set in this Night Rogue package, as well as a one-handed sword, a scythe weapon, a wolf mount called the Barghest, and a as a raven skin for Sunin. Now all of this info and footage is thanks to Ibsarp who found it in the game files and Pedda who have both been working together behind the scenes so we can take a first look at it and it is subject to change of course but I'll explain why I think this will be arriving sooner rather than later shortly. So let's first take a look at the Ashen armor set then which I would say is the more subtle looking armor set of the actual two comparatively to the Crimson which we'll get to in a second but when it actually comes to stats the perks are going to increase your assassination damage when you equip it and provide you with a plus 10 assassination damage bonus which I don't think is too fantastic to be honest with you but I think the key perk here for this set is that dive of the Valkyries ability where your enemy's health is going to be reduced by 10% and your attack is going to be increased by plus 10 if you manage to tag an enemy with this ability. There's also a 10 second cooldown on it which I think is actually quite good especially if you want to trigger that batwing animation quite frequently in combat and it also provides a very cool looking blood scython effect after you kill enemies with this ability which you can actually see in action here thanks to Pedder and of course via a picture here from Ibsarp as well so quite cool looking and if you do want to go ahead and upgrade the set you can do so it will transform from the Ashen Night Rogue armor set to the Crimson Night Rogue armor set and you're going to see a transition here from some subtle colors to some quite forthcoming ones definitely emphasizing its Crimson namesake because the reds and gold really do pop quite nicely to be fair and I'm not a massive fan of gold but I think this looks particularly good especially the blood veins on the arms it's quite eye-catching if you're into this kind of armor aesthetic in fact I think the devs have actually most likely taken a few sprinkles of inspiration from the movie Dracula Untold with a similar kind of armor shape and of course because of the big Dracula bat wings. Additionally Nika and Valkyrie in our Discord community noted that it also looks quite similar to the Daedric armor set in Skyrim and I can definitely see where they're coming from here. Now let's take a look at the stats on this Crimson set and instead of the assassination buffs of its Ashen counterpart you're going to pick up an increase in stealth damage when you've got it equipped and the dive of the Valkyrie bat wing perk remains the same with no alterations on this crimson set as well i also spoke to aussie killer about this set in our discord community as i'm not great at identifying reskin armor sets and he gave the armor set his full assessment he noted that while the armor set does utilize the base model shapes from the brigadine cape the valkyrie torso and the yorman gunder legs the overall design definitely seems to be original and not a like for like reskin per se now as these armor sets are funding free content such as the cassandra crossover update we've just had i do think it's important as consumers that if you do decide to pull the trigger on items in the helix store that they are unique and not just a copy and paste from previous in-game items the ones that we actually already have in game and it doesn't seem to be the case here it does look like a very unique brand new armor set but if you've spotted anything do let us know in the comments down below on top of that though you may have noticed that these armor sets are continuing to tap into that fantasy and mythological element which i think does make sense after the most recent announcement about the dawn of ragnarok dlc so i would expect to see more armor sets with funky effects going forward and while I'm actually on that topic I am doing a giveaway for the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC for free you just need to be a subscriber of the channel and the link to enter is in the pinned comments down below so good luck now let's move on to the weapons and we've got a one-handed sword here which is most certainly adding to those vampire undertones as it's described as being made of blood for one on top of the fact that it's actually called a bloody fang so definitely cementing the whole kind of vampire aspect here but when it comes to stats I don't think it's going to be anything that's going to blow you away per se because your attack increases by 15 after hitting an enemy when they've got over 50% health so yeah you're going to get a slight attack buff which isn't fantastic and I predominantly think that this weapon is going to be a good transmog option for all of you who are all about that kind of Dracula aesthetic but alongside the sword we also pick up a scythe here called the Reaper which is a very creative name <laughs> indeed and it is described as being the same shape of a bat wing which I can definitely see here to be fair but stat wise you are also going to have your attack increased by 15 but only when you hit an enemy who's under 50% health so it seems that this is to be used in tandem with the blood fang sword so you can benefit from having a plus 15 attack when an enemy is above 50% and also a plus 15 attack when they're below it additionally there's this eye-catching cosmetic pulse on the weapon which I think we've all become accustomed to seeing on helix pack weapons but I also think that it is good to note here it looks quite cool now the mount is actually called the bar guest and it looks like a large demonic wolf which I think some of you are going to like in fact according to the folklore of northern England especially 
especially in Yorkshire, which is called Yorkshire in the game. The bar guest is actually a monstrous goblin dog with huge teeth and claws that only appears at night. It was believed that those who actually saw a bar guest clearly would die very soon after, and those who only caught a glimpse of it would live on, but only for some months after that. Now, I know this is a suspected Helix pack, and in the grand scheme of things, this is just a mount name, but I appreciate the very small details the devs put into things like this, so good work, I say. Now, moving on to the Raven skin, because we're going to be picking up a vampire bat here, which complements the set, of course, and I won't be using this one myself, but I can definitely understand why some of you may choose to do so. It's another good looking raven skin, to be fair. But if you like what you see here, when is this all going to be coming out? Well, honest answer is we don't actually know. But Fragnor, a German AC YouTuber, did come across this pack that seemed to be accidentally leaked on the German store. I've popped a link to his channel down below if you want to check that out, by the way. But I do believe it's since been taken down by Ubisoft. But what that kind of says to me is that this pack is ready to ship for consumers, especially as the artwork and store showcase has already been implemented and put onto the store, albeit accidentally. So I wouldn't be surprised if we actually pick up this set sooner rather than later, perhaps in the next couple of weeks in the holiday window when people have got a little bit more spending power, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Could even be in January. What I do want to do though is say a huge thanks to Ibsarp and Peta for their continual hard work behind the scenes to bring us all of this juicy new info. They've actually found some more stuff for us to take a look at and talk about very soon. So if you want to know what that is, make sure you show some support for them by liking the video and clicking the bell so you can actually be the first to know when that new video drops and find your way back to the channel easily. Also, if you do fancy meeting some cool people and having a chat about everything AC and everything not, do come swing by and join our Discord. We've got nearly a thousand members here and it would be great to see you in the lobby to have a little bit of a chinwag. I've popped the invite link down in the pinned comments as well. And my additional thanks go out to all of the Reloads members and Reloaders who are actually supporting the channel with their own hard-earned cash. You're all the best. I am very, very grateful. So thank you very much. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for me. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if you are celebrating Christmas puddings and mulled wine. They're all on me. Enjoy yourselves. I'll catch you in the next video.